chances are, even if you're not big into YouTubers, you've still heard of Logan Paul. When Paul isn't making vlogs, podcasts, or fighting in the ring, he seems to have no problem in the dating field. So let's break down his somewhat messy dating history. Logan Paul's first high-profile relationship was back in 2014, when he dated model and actor Jessica Cervati. They dated for two years, reportedly making it the boxer's longest relationship yet, with the twosome even living together at one point. The former couple mostly kept a low profile, which is very unlike Paul. They did make some Vines and YouTube videos together that showed them kissing and cuddling, which definitely confirmed their couple status. Yet despite how happy they may have seemed online, the two allegedly had a bad breakup, with rumors that Serfati may have even cheated. Some blogs also suggested that Serfati had used Paul for fame. While Serfati and Paul never confirmed the reason they broke up, they both seem over it. Serfati got engaged in 2019 to Firefly CEO Khan Gunai. It's safe to assume that Logan Paul's next relationship with another former Vine star and YouTube personality Amanda Cerny probably gave his video views a boost. That's because when the two got together from 2016 to 2017, they documented practically their entire relationship for both of their YouTube channels. From the jump, Cerny posted a video of their first date, and would then upload videos with Paul with titles like We Smashed, reportedly for clickbait. Paul also featured Cerny frequently on his channel with his own steamy titles like Things Got Wild. Yet despite all the juicy content, the two eventually called it quits. It appears their split really was drama-free, though, since the former couple remains friendly to this day. In 2021, Cerny posted photos of her and Paul, where she expressed support for his boxing career. She wrote, I'm so proud of how much you have grown as a human being, how hard you work, how loyal you remain to your family and friends, and for proving, no matter how big your goals are, you can achieve them. Love you. Cerny isn't holding out for Paul since she apparently moved on to fitness trainer Johannes Bartle. YouTuber Tila Dunn was never officially Logan Paul's girlfriend, but the two did spark some romance rumors in 2016 thanks to a slew of super flirty videos they did together. While their videos like We Made a Baby were probably just for clickbait, the two had undeniable chemistry. In 2018, two years after they were speculated to be dating, Dunn confirmed that they had hooked up and that she quote, actually liked him more than a friend. But the Are We There Yet actor's feelings for Paul apparently ended up completely changing after he uploaded a video of a man hanging in Japan's infamous suicide forest. Apparently, since Dunn was once linked to Paul, she felt the need to upload her own video of her reaction to the controversy. I just feel like you have to be out of your mind to film a dead body and, like, laugh about it. Dunn eventually moved on, or at least reportedly used Paul's younger brother Jake Paul for a 2018 YouTube video that showed them making out, which of course sparked some dating rumors of their own. Logan Paul's 2017 romance with yet another fellow YouTuber, Alyssa Violet, was quite complicated and somewhat icky. Violet had dated Paul's younger brother, Jake Paul, and admitted to hooking up with Logan Paul as a form of revenge. It was quite the YouTube scandal when, in now-deleted tweets, Jake wrote that Violet had cheated on him with someone, quote, very close to him, and later revealed that Violet, quote, to my brother. Violet confessed that she and Paul got together when she was upset that his younger brother didn't invite her on a weekend trip. She told Shane Dawson, I hit up Logan and was like, yo, let's hang out. And then we all went to a club, and then me and Logan hooked up. I was disgusted by it. Yet following their hookup, Violet did decide to join Logan Paul in his 2017 Jake Paul diss track, the second verse, where he raps. That's Alyssa Violet, used to be your chick, now she's in the Low Gang, and you know she on my team. Violet would later claim that she had wanted to keep their relationship a secret, but it was Paul who blabbed, telling her, quote, I'm a savage. It's unclear whether Paul and Violet actually ever liked each other or just used each other to get back at Jake Paul, but their time together will always be one of YouTube's juiciest scandals. Logan Paul is no stranger to messiness, including when it comes to relationships, so it's no surprise that he may have mixed business with pleasure. In 2017, Paul was reportedly linked to his own personal assistant, Ayla Woodruff. A 
relationship between the two was never confirmed, but fans speculated that they were more than just friends and co-workers since Woodruff would frequently appear in Paul's vlogs. The two were apparently so flirtatious that fans even gave them the couple nickname Layla. Ultimately, if they were together, it didn't last long, since in 2017, Paul rather harshly tweeted that Woodruff was no longer working for him by writing, Oi, I've replaced my assistant with a newer, better assistant. Go watch new vlog, yeet. Of course, this led to rumors that something bad went down between Woodruff and Paul for him to fire her. Woodruff decided to, of course, take to YouTube to explain that she actually left her job as Paul's assistant to create her own vlog. She also clarified that they were on good terms, adding, Logan and I still hang out. You guys still see me on the vlogs all the time. It's no hard feelings. I'm super excited for him to have a new assistant, and to get it straight, he will not admit this in the vlog, he did not fire me. Logan Paul didn't just date vloggers. He also had a relationship with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. star Chloe Bennett. The two first sparked dating rumors when they were caught kissing on a beach while on a break from filming their 2020 film Valley Girl. In true Logan Paul style, the YouTuber couldn't help but vlog about their romance, telling fans, alongside Bennett, that they were, quote, friends. The two would eventually get more serious, with Bennett sticking by his side during his Japan suicide forest controversy. Paul revealed to the Hollywood Reporter that she had even warned him, saying, Yo, this behavior is going to bite you in the ass. Bennett also defended their relationship, tweeting, Logan is kind, creative, funny, and he's one of my best friends. He's changed my life for the better, and I've done the same for him. While the couple didn't work out, Paul still holds Bennett in high regard. He told Entertainment Tonight in 2020, That girl changed my life. I have so much love for her, and I'm so blessed that I got to do that movie and spend time with her. He also added, We are on good terms. Amicable, platonic, friendly, and we, we both just appreciate each other as humans. Yeah. Logan Paul's romance with Corinna Kopf in 2019 was only a brief fling. The two were an unlikely pairing from the beginning since only a year before they hooked up. Kopf took issue with him after his controversial Japan suicide forest vlog. She called him out on Twitter, writing, I'm truly sickened by this Logan Paul situation. I lost my brother to suicide. My brother took his own life by hanging himself. How insensitive and sick can you be to film someone in that state? Kopf may have been hurt by Paul's actions, but she revealed on his podcast Impulsive that she eventually decided to slide into his DMs after he pronounced her name wrong on his show. Kopf revealed that while they were hanging out, they didn't have sex until a year after they started dating because he wouldn't get an STD test. Paul, on the other hand, accused Kopf of complaining too much and of being a hypochondriac and germaphobe. In the end, their romance may not have lasted long, but they were on good enough terms for Kopf to come on his podcast. Logan Paul decided to go about his next relationship a bit differently and that he admitted it was serious. In 2020, Paul dated model Josie Canseco after she ended her relationship with reality star Brody Jenner. Paul confirmed their relationship by telling Entertainment Tonight that they were quarantining together, adding that it happened after, We crossed circles one night. It's serious. It's pretty serious. While Canseco appeared in some of his vlogs, Paul also revealed that he wanted to keep his relationship with her more low-key due to his previous experiences with exes. He explained, I'm hesitant to involve the person I'm spending my time with as much as I do everything else, for the sake of them and their life. Despite Paul's best efforts, he and Canseco didn't work out, which he revealed on his podcast Impulsive by referring to her as his ex-girlfriend. He admitted, it's hard. How do you tell the world it's over? Canseco also opened up about their split on the Between Good and Evil podcast, revealing, We just didn't necessarily see a future with what we had there at the time. We just went through some but we love each other and we're trying to find a respectable place. However, her dad, legendary baseball player Jose Canseco, decided to start a Twitter feud with him by tweeting he'd fight the Paul brothers. Josie was not pleased and dished. He crossed a line, embarrassing me calling out someone that I'm still very close with. While Logan Paul was seriously dating Josie Canseco on and off between 2020 and 2021, he did find time in there to have a brief affair with Call Her Daddy host Alex Cooper. The whole thing was apparently supposed to stay a secret, but someone blabbed. Cooper broke it down on the BFFs podcast, revealing, I hooked up with this guy and then Harry Jowsey tells me that he is running his mouth around LA, telling people that we hooked up. 
We weren't gonna tell anyone and Logan Paul is really bad at keeping a secret. Paul responded to Cooper's claims on his podcast Impulsive, saying, We hooked up and I was in a conversation with Harry Jowsey, a friend, and I mentioned it to him, and she construed it as I was running around town telling everyone. He added, Alex is awesome. She's a great girl. We hung out, spent some time together. But when it came to their hookup, he only told one close friend. The two seem to have since made up because Paul later appeared on Cooper's podcast, where they reminisced about how they ran into each other post-hookup at a Vegas nightclub. Cooper joked that, Logan looked at me like you saw a f ghost and started freaking out. As of 2021, Logan Paul's latest rumored girlfriend is singer-songwriter Olivia O'Brien. While they haven't officially confirmed their relationship, they both have definitely hinted that they're an item. First, O'Brien appeared on the BFFs podcast, where she admitted that she was in LA as, quote, a member of the Low Gang, a term for Logan Paul fans. When asked if she was there to hook up with Paul, she answered, um, yeah, sure. Then, while appearing on their friend Mike Maylack's YouTube channel, they inadvertently admitted they were dating. What's going on? You guys arguing? Yeah, we're fighting. Starting to get some of that travel fatigue for a new relationship? No, bro. It's just like, bro, I was drunk last night. We had a deep conversation and like, I forgot all of it. So what? While the two may currently be together, they also have quite the past. Distractify reports that the couple dated before Paul got with Josie Canseco, and at the time, O'Brien wrote a song about him. The singer dished on the Zack Sang show that Jocelyn, a song about being with someone who still sees other people, was indeed about Paul, but that she didn't want anyone to know. So is O'Brien the one, or just another girl who makes for good content? Fans will just have to subscribe to find out. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255.